Hey everyone, Jim here from Fuji Spray, and today I'm going to be showing you all the different ways you can adjust the fan pattern on your Fuji Spray HVLP spray gun. Unlike some of the older, outdated HVLP spray guns where you had to adjust the fan pattern by rotating the air cap into a fixed position, with Fuji spray guns you actually have an incremental control. So you can go from a narrow 1 inch pattern to an approximately 13 inch wide fan pattern and all the increments in between. Let's start with the GXPC. So with the GXPC spray gun you'll notice a side mounted pattern control assembly and it's similar to the throttle of a motorcycle. So, if you want a narrow pattern, you rotate the pattern control all the way forward. If you want to really open up the throttle and let it rip, you rotate it all the way back. And that will give you that wide fan pattern. The next offering we have is the T-Model spray guns. So the T-Model offers a patented side-mounted pattern control. It's conveniently placed similar to the one on the GXPC, but the way that the air is diffused and diverted inside is unique and very special to Fuji Spray. And then the final spray gun we have is the M-Model spray gun. This is our entry level spray gun that uses a rear mounted pattern control assembly. While it doesn't uh, rotate in the same fashion as the GXPC or the T-Model, uh, it will rotate at a 12 o'clock or a 3 o'clock position. And by setting it diagonally you will get all the different increments offered with the T-Model and GXPC. Now the final adjustment you can make to the fan pattern is actually rotating the air cap. So right here, the air cap is horizontal, which will give us a vertical spray pattern. By rotating the air cap vertically, that'll give you a horizontal spray pattern. So that's great if you are a fan of maybe up and down spraying, if that's more comfortable for you. Whereas if you're looking for more of the side to side style, then you'll want to go for that horizontal orientation. Let's move over to the easel and I'll show you how they spray. Now before we get into what I just touched on in the previous talk, uh, what I want to do is I want to show you how finely you can adjust your fan setting. By dialing in your fan pattern to the narrow setting and restricting the fluid control at the rear of the spray gun and moving a little bit closer to your project, you can achieve close to a half inch to a quarter inch spray pattern. So let's take a look. So as you can see there, it's a super narrow fan pattern and because of the beautiful transfer efficiency found on Fuji spray guns, there's pretty much no overspray on my hand. So now let's get into those controls we just chatted about. So an all the way forward control is a narrow fan pattern. So as you can see here, there's a variety of different diameters of circle patterns you can get, and that will be dependent on how close or how far away from the project you are. Now let's look at some of the wider fan settings. You'll adjust it all the way back, and in tandem, you'll want to open up your fluid so as to not starve your fan pattern. So, as you can see here, a much wider fan pattern. The farther away, the wider that fan's going to be. But we always recommend staying about 6 to 8 inches away from your spray piece. The other adjustment we talked about is the orientation of the air cap. So here you'll see I have a uh, horizontal setting which is going to give me that vertical pattern and that's why I'm able to achieve that vertical spray. By rotating it, I'm going to get a horizontal fan pattern. So you'll see here we have that horizontal fan pattern. Now this is great for people who enjoy spraying up and down, for fences let's say. Or if you're spraying side to side, maybe finishing countertops or, or tabletops that are laid horizontally, most people like that wide fan setting, and that's for side to side spraying. Now I want to show you just the different increments that you can hit with your T-Model spray gun. So we'll start at the narrow pattern, we'll dial back our fluid just a little bit, and then as I make my pass, I'm going to open up my fan pattern. So as you can see here, we can really hit most increments from the narrow fan pattern to the wide fan pattern. Um, in respect to what I was saying before about adjusting your pattern control and your fluid control in tandem, this is a perfect example. You'll see here, we are focusing all of our spray into a narrow area, and that's why we really laid it on heavy and have started actually to get drips. As we opened up that fan setting, you'll notice that it was able to disperse in a wider area and thus wasn't concentrated to get those drips. So always make sure that when you're adjusting your pattern control to adjust that fluid control in tandem. 
that pretty well covers all the different ways you can adjust the pattern assembly or fan pattern on your Fuji Spray HVLP spray gun. If you do have any more questions, be sure to give Fuji Spray a call at 1 800 650 0930 or shoot us an email at info at fujispray.com. This is Jim from Fuji Spray. Thank you so much for watching.